article is a response to Dino Zambus's how to get the new 3.1 better firmware free on all devices and change files from zip to IPSW. Um, after I follows all the instructions, 5 minutes and 12 um, seconds of tutorial that T7 did, um, my iPod didn't come out so good. Um, the iPod worked, uh, but every time I turned on um, I plugged it into iTunes, I get um, I get this picture. So what was actually going on on the iPod? It had all the new applications of the 3.1 firmware. It had the voice memos. Um, it had the Bluetooth. It, it had everything that um, the iPhone 3.1 firmware would have. Although when you put it into the computer, you couldn't synchronize your iPod. This was a message we again um, were unable to complete your act uh, activation. This device is not registered as a part of the iPhone development program. If you are a member of the program, please register your device in the iPhone developer program portal. Now this is actually a link, um, which to get to, I'll try clicking it, but what I do is copy the iTunes URL. Um, there's Dan and Jamison's video. If you open a new link, uh, once the link is opened, I have um, pasted the URL into the address bar. And this is a website that came up. It actually says that you need to log in to get the most of your iPhone Dev Center. Um, I actually realized once you register and create an account to register an iPod device, it actually costs $99 for the standard program. So, really, if you wanted to get the iPhone 3.1 firmware, which will work with your iPod, what you're best doing is buying it off the Apple website. Um, if you're buying it in America it'll cost ten dollars. If you're buying it in the UK it'll be about nine ninety nine uh, pounds ninety nine sorry. So obviously it's a lot cheaper just to buy it off the Apple website and you know it's a free download but um, it does cost ninety nine dollars to register on the site and that is to register um, your device. What Dino Zambus actually never mentioned, uh, Dino Zambus, sorry, otherwise known as D7, never mentioned down the side here is when we downloaded uh, that link for the 3.1 better firmware, um, this wouldn't happen in our iTunes. Uh, Dino Zambus never warned us of this, he just showed us all the new features in the iPod Touch, never actually told us this would happen in our iTunes. He also never told us that to cure this we would have to pay $99 to get it fixed. Um, I think that Dan Zambas obviously made a mess of what he was trying to uh, get across. Um, let's just have a look at one of the features here. People uh, people talk about the UDID uh, that is spoken about on this site that you need to um, that you need to get which you need to pay $99 for. So. I'm now going to show you how to cure uh, your iPod Touch, which is currently what I call fucked. Um, it has got a lot of new features, but if you want to delete them, put new songs on. Uh, iTunes will not work with your iPod. So now I'll show you what to do with uh, your iPod Touch. Right. So to start with, you want to go. You want to go to the um, to the link that's on that side of the screen. Um, and download it for the 2.2.1 firmware and what you want to do is put your iPod in DFU mode so you want to hold the lock button and the home screen button at the same time for 15 seconds until you hear the bleep on the computer then once you hear that just keep hold of that one Right, there's your two bleeps. After the second bleep, you do let go of the home screen button just there. Right, so now the iPod is in DFU mode and you're back on iTunes. You're going to want to click your iPod back in. And you'll hear the click on the computer there. And I'm just waiting until your iPod comes up. 
now at this point we'll have the, um, the download the 2.2.1 firmware um, which will tell you to download from that side of the screen um, once you have that iTunes has detected an iPod in recovery mode so that just means it's in DFU mode not to worry about click OK right, what you want to do here it, it, as you notice uh, iTunes is now noticing the iPod again uh, now you've done that you want to click shift right make sure make sure you do this you need to click shift and before you've let go of shift you need to click restore if you just click restore this won't work you need to click shift right i'm going to come to my desktop i have two there that's a 3.1 firmware this is a 2.2.1 firmware click open right, so it's extracting software and um, this does this for quite a while and um, I'll wait till it's passed through a little bit um, and I'll come back and show you what's happening. iTunes is now at the change saying that it's preparing for the restore. Um, so um, it's done that, uh, completely done. The screen on the iPod has now changed, it's gone completely blank, still unresponsive. Um, not that you want to click any buttons at this stage because it will um, mess up the uh, restorement. Uh, the iPod has not changed, it's it's a black screen with the white Apple logo and it's still saying prepare to the store. I'll come back in a little bit and just tell you what's going on. Right, it's now changed, it's said that it's restoring the iPod software as you can just see there. Um, on the iPod screen it's got a little bar uh, going across the screen. It's gradually growing um, as it grows more on the as it grows more on the it's growing more on the iPod so it is um, steadily moving. Uh, I'll come back in a little bit. Right now that's on a message that came up uh, just about there on your screen saying um, the restore is done, factory settings, uh, uh, factory settings sorry, should uh, come back up in about 10, 9, 8, it starts counting down. Um, then this screen comes up, um, it's found the device and I could touch, but not the same as before. Um, this comes up, um, you can restore from all of them. Um, or you can set up a new iPod. My personal preference is to click set up new iPod, then just click continue. Um, and once your iPod is completely done, it should look like this. It should now come up, and your iPod should look like this. It should say the software version 2.2.1, shouldn't say 3.1 no more. Uh, your iPod should be fully fixed. Um, so um, I don't know why D7 made a video really um, telling us that there was a three point one software out. Um, everyone knows that they may be able to download it for, for free. Um, I don't know why they should do that. They should just click there, update, and um, download it for even nine ninety nine um, British pounds or ten dollars, uh, both off the Apple um, Apple Store, right there, iTunes Store, um, don't know why D7 made that video. He, he, there was two defaults. He never told us we would have to pay $99 um, to get the software running. Um, if you are if you are in America, um, you may want to do that to be able to have the 3.1 firmware on your iPod Touch. You'll be able to do voice memos, uh, Bluetooth, etc. The Bluetooth actually doesn't work. It's not built into the iPod, so it's still not going to work even if you do have the uh, software. But if uh, if it was, uh, if you're living in England, I highly suggest you don't do that. First of all, you have to pay dollars, so the exchange rate will be a lot more. And um, it'll come back out eighty five pound. I'd just say click up there. It's not worth it. Um, I hope that this video was a lot a lot of use to you. I know I was struggling. I was thinking, oh no, I broke my iPod. Um, I don't know whether I put uh, Apple will give me a repair. So. After I found out, uh, manually, can I just add it? Didn't go through anyone else's video, make this, and manually done it. Um, I was able to do it myself and thought I'd upload it all. So, um, thanks for watching, subscribe and rate. Uh, with LZ, EQ9, thanks for watching.